wonderful night for hockey. From far above center ice with Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emrick. Ray Ferraro is ice side. We'll hear from him shortly. The teams have taken to the ice, and it's setting up to be a terrific matchup. And before the faceoff, here's Eddie. I've been looking forward to this one for a while, Doc. Both of these teams have the ability to put the puck in the back of the net. Goaltending, as we know, could be the difference here. Flings it. The shot is off. My dad once told me, Doc, if you don't hit the net, you can't score. Took that wrist shot. They score! And they've tied the game up. He had that wrist shot ready to go in a perfect scoring area. Dolby's disappointment here is pretty evident, Edzo. He stops a big chunk of the puck, but he can't keep it in front of him, and it rolls into the net. Just a bit under six minutes gone. We are at one goal apiece. Good help to the center. Into the end of attack. Out in front. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. Perfect passing right through center. Boom! What a great open ice hit. Oh, and he missed the net. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the club. I don't think the puck here ever thought that this player was going to come in and make this big, huge hit. Laid on to Sierra. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Norway's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Big hit. Possession gone. Almost out of nowhere, the defender steps into him. That hurts. I could hear that one, Doc. That's a solid hit. He's not going to get up. Guys, bone jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. Norway's in possession as they travel up the wing. Tries to get it on net. He scores! Thornton! The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. Wow, Edzo, this is a cannon of a shot. The goaltender stops most of it, but it's too powerful and it works its way in. Norway's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Norway goal. Scored by number Got that one ahead at center ice. Oh, he got that! Period number one has ended. Both teams connected. The Riflemen have prevailed at least through one period. We'll see about two. Not a big deficit to make up. Just one goal. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now at this year's locations in price. Thornton's marker late in that period will give his team a lift going into intermission time now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by section 144. Wide open. He drops into a butterfly. You could throw a football in there right now. Norway's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question two here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at him and try and make this three right away? The breakaway. Cut his glove on it. Gains the blue line. Shoots. Just couldn't find the target. You have to give yourself a chance here. You cannot blow this puck past the net. Marr 
marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Pass is boxed for boarding. Yeah, as you can see here, Doc, no chance for the attacking player to protect themselves. That's why it's a two-minute penalty. Quick work on the faceoff. Wrist one. He hit the crossbar. Off the crossbar and into the crowd. Somebody's going to be a happy human out there. Defensive zone win. Thrown to the slot. He scores! And that's four straight goals. Bass realized he didn't have much time in tight, and he put it in on a one-timer. And so he looks like he's in pretty good positioning here, but he's not able to get his glove low enough to snap this one up. Norway's lead is already enormous. Will he just sit on this now and get the horn at the end of the second? A face-off win. Let's see what develops. One timer. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. Hey, fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. The game is not decided yet, technically, but goaltending will have to improve if it's to reverse itself. Intermission is next. Could go right. He picked the wrong way. That's a big hit, boys. Turned on net. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Norway's clearly the aggressor almost from the beginning of the game, but in particular this period, they've started to take over physically, and as a result, they've increased their lead. A little over seven minutes have gone by here in the third. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Puck is thrown to Chow. Puts one on. Score! Maybe that'll change things. When you're thinking about taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. He must have lost his angle here, Edzo. This puck beats him pretty cleanly up into the blocker side, into the top of the net. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. And that play is offside. And yet again, here is Ray Ferrar. Dolpe's had a rotten night tonight. Looks like a game of dodgeball in there for him. There is no way he's going to want to watch this again. Some of those didn't look very good, did they, Ray? Thanks very much. Norway's trying to pry it free along the boards. Shot on. Score! Wait, no goal! No goal! Holosh finishes this off, but the referee signals no goal right away. Looks like goaltender interference. being on the end of some bad games, some bad efforts. I'm not looking forward to practice tomorrow. 
So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.